Hey guys, what's up? It's Yana. Welcome to day 25 of Camp Nanoramo, July 2023. As you can see, it's already dark, it's the evening, but the good news is I have ticked all of the projects. I just finished editing. I'd left that for last because I spent like 90% of the day sleeping because I didn't have any lessons to teach and I just didn't want to get out of bed and I was tired because we... Um, had burgers yesterday and watched Queen Charlotte and stayed up quite late so I went to bed late especially because I had to edit late yesterday after I came back from my friend's house but that did get done so I haven't skipped a single day which is great will I finish um, what was supposed to be the Camp Nanorimo project which is the editing project will I finish that by the end of the month no no um, but to be fair, that was like around 120-ish thousand words, so, you know, I was, I was never gonna finish it by the end of the month. I do have to finish it by the 1st, 3rd of August, though I do have a deadline for that because my client needs to publish. So, we're gonna need to speed up, but um, I've not been doing too badly. I covered around 2,000 words today. Should have done more, but I say this every day. Um, I'll, I'll hopefully just speed up the last few days. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm happy with what I've done so far today. It's been really, really good and I'm glad it's all done now. Um, but kind of my topic for today and what I've been thinking of, because it's relevant to what I was editing, is um, info dumpy chapters because I had this chapter I'm not really doing developmental editing on this book but if I spot something I still mention it and there was the, just this chapter with so much technical stuff and, and details about what the character was doing and and what his powers were which it's not that that can never be interesting it's just when it's paragraphs upon paragraphs upon paragraphs of that um, in the middle of what's supposed to be you know something going on in this case it was even a battle, um, it it does get a bit much, but I feel like it's always difficult to figure out where to put this information, because in some ways it's world building and it, it often serves to patch up plot holes and to make things more realistic and to justify certain actions, so you kind of have to have it, but how do you either write it shortly or put it where it doesn't get in the way. I'm having the same kind of issue with my fantasy romance because in order for it to make sense, I have to very early on make sure that the reader understands how this world works. But it's always kind of slightly awkward when you have to do that. You know, you've probably heard the phrase, as you know, Bob. You know, why is this character sitting and thinking in her head about how the world works, which is something that she knows? Um, so there there are not that many ways sometimes to avoid um, info dumping. Um, you, you can do it through dialogue, but then it can be even more, as you know, Bob, <laughs> than, than, um, than in monologue in somebody's head. Um, so, yeah that's that's what I've been struggling with today and I've been trying to um, trying to think of, of, of what to advise this client in terms in terms of um, what to do with all of this information because I don't want to tell them to delete at all because number one the book is kind of at a late stage it's not it's not at a stage when you're still kind of you know reshuffling chapters and episodes but at the same time I feel like if some of it can be moved later, then that would be good. It would make my life difficult, because I'd have to kind of keep track of where that passage came from, um, where I'm mostly line editing and proofreading and copy editing right now. Um, so it's not the perfect time for it. Um, but I think I'll keep reading, because I haven't actually, this is my first run through the book. Um, I don't actually know if there'll be a better place for that, but if I spot it later on, I'll be like, hey, you know that bit where you explained all of that stuff? Maybe if you popped it here. And this is why books need multiple drafts. Unlike fan fiction, where all the plot holes get 
left in there and all the infodumps get left in there because you didn't know where you were going with it and you can't go back and edit. Well, you could, but your readers would have already read it, so there's not much point. Okay, that's the end of my ramble for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!